the tournament of power is close to its end now, with just 13 more minutes remaining after the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super. Episode 118 had a load of content for us fans, and I think it was one of the best written episodes in the tournament of power so far. Now, only four universes remain in the Tournament of Power, which include Universe 3, Universe 4, Universe 7, and Universe 11. Of course, the next universe to get eliminated is going to be either Universe 3 or Universe 4. Judging by the preview of the next episode of Dragon Ball Super, it seems Vegeta is taking on Universe 3, as Katobsla, who I think might be eliminated in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. Universe 4 will also finally be moving now. They have not been too involved so far, but now that Universe 7 is finally tired out, it is the time to strike. Universe 4 has three warriors left in the Tournament of Power, and two of them cannot be detected or sensed. This is a major problem, and likely Quitella's trump card. It looks like they are even giving Goku and Vegeta a hard time. Gohan and Piccolo are also struggling against Universe 4 warriors, but it seems like their main opponent is Shansa. He doesn't look Gohan, he's all that strong, but he might be a big surprise in the Tournament of Power. Shansa has the ability to cast some sort of illusions, and thanks to those, Universe 7 will be losing a warrior in the next episode. That's not all. This ability might just be one of the most terrifying ones we've seen yet. If you look closely, Shansa is literally producing illusions of other characters from the Tournament of Power. We can clearly see Batamo from Universe 6, and even some who look like Basil and Coral as well. I don't know if they're capable of fighting like the real ones, but either way it is a deadly ability. Gohan and Piccolo will likely have a hard time dealing with this ability, and I think the next Universe 7 warrior who gets eliminated will be one of the two, because a lot has been centered around these two lately. It could also be one of the androids, and some are even claiming Vegeta will get knocked out of the Tournament of Power, but I don't think that's going to be the case. We'll get more spoilers in the coming days, and more information about Episode 119 is likely to follow. One warrior just revealed his true power and whole Universe 7 is in trouble Dragon Ball Super Episode 118 dropped today and it was quite easily one of the best episode we've seen in a while. The last couple of episodes that we got to see in the Tournament of Power have been great and the hype for the next couple of episodes is real as well. This week, we got to see a lot of stuff from Universe 7, Universe 6 and Universe 2. Two of these three universes were eliminated from the Tournament of Power, and hence the universes were erased, as a result. Universe 2 had three warriors left, all of which were fighting against Goku. However, after they transformed it became hard for Goku to deal with them. Help was needed from Android 17, and Android 18. Ultimately, Goku did the job, and they were eliminated. Universe 6 SA1 Ru and Pirina were also the focus of the episode. They were extremely powerful, and they certainly did fight a great fight against Ultimate Gohan. We also found out that the Universe 6 Namekins had fused with a lot of Namekins, in order to improve their strength. The regeneration was pushed to the point where it didn't drain the stamina. But, thanks to Gohan and Piccolo's strategy, they were dealt with. At the end of the day, Universe 6 and Universe 2 were erased, and emotions hit like a truck this week. But there are still 13 minutes left in the Tournament of Power. Next week, we'll see Universe 4 spring into action, and they'll probably give Universe 7 a lot of trouble. Universe 4 has three warriors left. Two of them are invisible, and they're the main problem that Universe 7 is facing right now. However, they also have Shansa. He's a weird little creature who seems to be a key character in the next episode. Continue reading.